Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of B A Select Start Base. Give it a little more. Base. So we're back after a three week sabbatical, something like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we wrapped up the 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 technical road to two K twenty talking uh, about recap. Games, yeah. And now we're back. And better than ever. <laughs> got a knack for making things better. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I have to throw that in. Let's uh, turn that bish off. Some new, some news. Eh. Some news for 2K20 came out. WWE 2K20, if you haven't been following the series, um, has come out on the new game, and that includes soundtrack, soundtrack release. Uh, features related to universe mode, yeah. uh, and a brand the brand new gameplay trailer, which we will we're planning to go over uh, toward the end of this video. But we figure, you know what? All kinds of new stuff. It's a smorgasbord of uh, new stuff. So uh, let's uh, dive in, as they say, and let's break it down. All right. So we got soundtrack. Uh, I'll be honest. It's, I, think, I, I have think it's, no idea who any of it. Well, no, I know Machine Gun Kelly. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I I know him, but everybody else, I'm like, what? But anyway, so it says curated to suit the diverse tastes of the WWE universe. 2K20's in-game soundtrack features a whopping 12 tracks uh, across hip hop, hard rock, punk, metal, electro pop, and alternative slash indie rock. So CM Punk is back in the game. Uh, no, n no, but, uh, you know, he might be, uh, backstage pretty soon, from what I hear. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, the, for those of you who were hoping that you wouldn't want to rip your hair out by hearing the same song over and over and over again, um, sorry about your luck. <laughs> um, we got a handful of artists, I mean, uh, let's just kind of burn through yeah. the artists. I'm not going to say the names of the songs, you can look this up if you want, but, yeah. uh, Banks... Sasha Banks? Nope. Oh. Banks, uh, Barnes, Courtney, whoever that is. Bring Me the Horizon, featuring Danny Danny Filth. You're in this? No. Oh. I don't. I wouldn't spell my name that way anyway. <laughs> Grandson. Of who? Uh, you're killing me. Lil I'm Uzi, sorry. little Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, Motley Crew featuring Machine Gun Kelly. That's him. Muse. Uh, Poppy. Oh Jesus, really? Saweetie. Uh, the Black Keys, The Misfits, and Watt featuring Post Malone. So yeah, I mean, I I honestly, to my knowledge, have not heard any of these songs. Me neither. Um, or artists, except Machine Gun Kelly. So I mean, I guess cool. You're gonna the game's gonna expose me to some new new shit that I'm probably not gonna want to ever hear again. I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably gonna turn off all these tracks and just put on entrance themes. Yeah, hopefully that's still a feature that's in there where you can just select what music plays. Because I think I pretty much just have superstars. Yeah, superstars that's that's themed, that's themed what it's been like 19. for me for the last couple of games because there's a bunch of superstar themes that i could listen to forever yes and some of the the songs that are actually on the game not so much yes um but that's about all i gotta say about this Me you too. have any thoughts no all right give us your thoughts um on these artists and if you want to look up the list these songs uh in the comments but uh let's move right on past this to the new features relating to WWE Universe What is mode. this mode for? I have no idea. So, we've discussed in the previous episodes how I don't I don't really care about Universe Mode. It's I don't not either. A, it's not something that really calls to me because it seems like more work than fun. Yeah. Um, or a, high, a too high work to fun ratio. Yeah. Um, but so we've got here's what's new in the mode for 2K20 per 2K. Major and minor show match limits have increased from 7 to 9. So I guess you can have not up to 9 matches on a show. That's two more. Uh pay-per-view match limits have doubled from Jesus. From 7 to 14. So you can have so you can have a five-hour pay-per-view, I guess. So what you're saying is I can go double or nothing? Uh, yep. 
and uh, fight fight for the fallen on this one. But I'm going uh, all in in that one. Anyway, I mean that's just excessive. But it, you know, for the sake of realism, I guess. <laughs> Uh, number of championship titles per major show has increased from six to seven. I'm not sure why you need a limit on that. Dan. Why do you need a limit on that? Like, who cares? It, it's WWE universe mode. I'm building the show. Why can't I make every match a, a title match? What is the problem with that? I guess they don't want you having Clash of Champions 365 days a year. Well, that's boring. Uh, simultaneous rivalries on major shows have increased from three to four. So apparently you can only have... Three rivalries? Well, we used to only be able to have three rivalries at a time. Now you can have four. That's just silly. Pay-per-views can be co-hosted by up to three major shows versus the previous two. So we're just adding a one next to everything and calling it a new feature. Apparently. Um, so I guess that means that a pay-per-view can be a Raw, SmackDown, and NXT NXT or a... Two oh five or oh yeah whatever. Uh, play, players have more freedom to delete and add promos and matches. Great. Fifty of the most used cutscenes have been reshot with female mocap actors to look more authentic when female superstars are used. All right. Twenty five new cutscenes have been added. Three thousand and forty new promo lines are in the game. But probably three thousand of them being very cheesy and corny. Now, I mean, here's the thing with WWE Universe Mode is the li- the promo lines aren't actually said, right? They just show up on the screen They're in a text show up box. on the screen, yeah. So who the, who cares? Let, why not just let me write my own promos? Let me just key that stuff in. That would be a fun feature, actually. Custom matches can now be included in match tables. Yes, match tables. Along with new... I don't know what that means. Along with new mixed tag matches. Whatever. (laughs) New championship match setting and match tables can be used to... I guess that's building... Like the the building of the show or something. Probably. New championship match setting and match tables can be used to make certain matches a title match. Oh, I see. I mean, that makes sense. Main event matches and match tables have been tweaked so that those match types are more likely to occur on the show... Uh, oh, such as Royal Rumble matches at the Royal mm. Rumble. Uh, new rivalry content includes options such as low-intensity enemies making peace after a single pay-per-view or low-to-mid-intensity allies slowly falling out over several weeks instead of a sudden turn. Again, it's a, it's a, it's a realism thing that almost doesn't seem to make a difference. Yes. Uh, overall menu flow has been streamlined to make it more accessible to those new to universe mode. All deeper options are still available for experienced players. So, eh, eh. I mean, the thing with, again, with universe mode is, like I said, it always seemed like it was way too much work for what enjoyment I imagine getting out of it, because I never really yeah. got delved into it. But I remember in GM mode on 2007... Sick. Oh. The one where they started to add in the specific storylines, like the Loser Leaves Raw storyline. Yeah. Um, I e- even that seemed to be pushing it a little, a little bit. Like the original GM mode was nice in a way, uh, admittedly a little boring in the fact that your rivalries you didn't have to like choose a specific type of storyline. You just had to have them face each other, and you could just sort of imagine what the hell your story yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. 2007 gave that a little bit more body, but then Universe Mode is sort of the poor man's uh, GM mode, which is probably why they haven't put GM Mode back into the game, is that it's just sandbox GM Mode. Yeah. And uh, it just seems like there's way too many things to think about right? to make it worth my time. Yeah. Um, but I... Go on. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I just... I've never been able... Like, I can't say that, I, that I've tried it out intensely but no. the, there there's never really been an urge to do so yeah like usually when a new feature comes in a WWE game you're like okay let's let's see what this is but with universe mode it's like okay let's go back to exhibition mode and play a match or let's go to create a superstar and let's do something and like it just it's it's kind of just left out for me it's like okay you're there yeah now admittedly i didn't i haven't touched universe mode in 19 because i remember it from whichever other one i own and I which remember, we still have to figure out, by the way. 
And I, I remember going into it on the original one and going, this is stupid, and I just kind of left yeah. it alone. So, in all fairness, maybe by the next time we record, I'll g- give it a, a once-over, and I'll okay. dive in, and I'll, tr- I'll tinker with it a little bit. Probably still not going to like it. But that's not the point. Anywho, do you have any other thoughts on universe mode? No. All right. So once again, throwing it to you guys, the, the listeners, the fans, the ba- base universe. Or bass. The, the ba- bass universe. The best. You guys. In the world. So. Get it. Do you like universe mode? Are you excited for it? And do you prefer universe mode or GM mode? There's a couple things for you to throw out in the comments. Did you just take a survey? Ayo. Now, moving on. This is our big marquee moment for this episode because... Did this... we want to cover one final thing? Ah, uh, yes. We can we can discuss that too. Um, or two final things. Um, online mode? Yes. So, um, online mode, it seems like, you know, they're promising us that, oh, we're making it a little bit more dynamic where you can... Um, I don't know if you played online mode in 13 or 2K14 where it was no. you would create a session and then you can invite your friends and you can make it private so nobody else comes in and tries to join in. Yeah. So they're bringing that back and oh, they're making the lobby, it... Yeah. yeah, lobby, yeah. Um, and I mean, it, it sounds like exciting, but someone brought up the comment that, well, if you bring all this back and you hype it up, but the internet connection sucks or if the servers suck, yeah, that's pretty much all down the drain. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Putting in all the effort for zero payout. Exactly. So. So I suppose we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that we're going to get exactly smooth gameplay. It's probably still going to be a lag fest. Um, But yeah. Are you hardwired when you play or are you Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. I mean, I haven't done it hardwired because I would need a really long cable. Ethernet cable. To get to my router. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if it improves gameplay at all. Um, but either way, we've or we've talked about when we played against each other on 19, how there's a distinct lag the entire match. And it just kind of... I mean, I picked up a couple of pinfalls over you, but you're more seasoned at the controls, and so it, it almost would kind of kill the enjoyment because you're, you're spending most of it struggling against the lag to try yeah. and get the timing right. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if they've got improved servers that can handle the weight to the weight a little bit better. Which, by the way, uh, control scheme is actually changing. Uh oh. Which uh, is a little bit of a concern to me because while I want to believe that it might be good, I also want to believe that it could be very bad. So I don't know. But um, did we want to cover uh, Austin's entrance before we get into the main attraction for today? Well, I mean, I was almost hoping that you were gonna just allude to it again because you know. Sometimes you just want to have a little bit of fun with these things, and I don't think this is taking me to where I want to go um, at all. Much like life. You know what it is. Nope. Apparently I don't. Ah. Yeah, so they released the Austin entrance also. Um, which I know by by the time we get this out there, everyone's going to be like, dude, that was so like three weeks ago. Like, what's up with the lag with you guys getting the information over? Uh, we're sorry. Once again, we weren't able to record because of circumstance. But let's talk about Austin's entrance. So, all right. Uh, You've got thoughts. Uh, don't we all? <laughs> um, so I think I like even before the Austin entrance was revealed, I think I've told you that Austin has been a character in the 2K series that they've just never been able to get right. Quite right. Um, Appearance-wise, I don't got a problem. He looks great. Walking, entrance, stunner has always looked very off to me. Yeah. Um, so Austin's entrance has been released, and quite frankly, first of all, we still don't have his current theme, which is a big killer for me. We still have the Hell Frozen Over theme from 97. Um, secondly, the way that he walks to the ring to me is just off. There's something about his hand motions. Um, I forget how you described it, Dan. You said it's too, um, what it's is too it? slow. Like he, he has a certain urgency in his walk when he goes to the ring. 
that that these the game doesn't have. Yeah. The cadence is off. Yeah. Um, the swinging of the arms as he's walking looks like it's not even Austin. Um, we yeah, talked because about Steve, Steve has a, a any 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 true wrestling fan knows that if you watch a game a game version of Austin walk, it, you can tell the my, those minute differences because Steve ha- carries himself with a certain urgency every time he comes to the ring, and a certain rigidity. Uh, so his arms are just a little bit stiffer. Um, he's anim- He's a little more animated, um, and then he's very sharp with his movements. Yes. Which the game seems to... It almost seems like a lazy version. Yeah. Like, kind of like a, a prototype. Yeah. To or, what's... or like a Steve Austin who threw put back, put down a six-pack before he came out to the ring. <laughs> so he's got just a little bit of a buzz slowing him down, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, we talked about this before, uh, articles of clothing going through bodies, yeah. um, anatomies. Uh, his vest seems to go through his arm, uh, right when he's about to hit the stairs. And also, um, when he goes up to the turnbuckle and throws both his hands up, it, it's, it's too straight. Yeah. Um, like, I think it was in 2K's, uh, 15 or 69, I forget where it was too, like, Triple H-like, where it was, it was much more slanted. Um, it seems like they can never reach the proper medium of not too slanted and not too straight, but just somewhere in the middle. Yeah. We were actually just watching this moments before. If you, um, YouTube or Google SmackDown, here comes the pain, Steve Austin entrance, that entrance, considering it was before mocaps and all that, I think they did much of a better job in that game than they're doing now. Um... I'm just hoping that the least that they can do, like the saving grace is that he has a new stunner animation, which actually looks on point because all the other ones, let's just be honest, it looks like crap. But um, I don't know, Dan, if you want to talk about your feelings or anything that you feel may be different about. No, I mean, we th- those are the major things that, that we talked about uh, when we reviewed the videos also is like the turnbuckle thing I said if you watch the old one or you even watch the live clip like the the one i pulled up with yeah. with uh McMahon, Raw 25 with, yeah, yeah. Is, is that what that was 25 yeah. is austin goes from like his hands go directly from his from down by his legs up to the air right there's no like pause there's no slow lift yeah. it's very sharp yeah and that that's just that's just him like I said, the urgency, the rigidity, the sharpness of the movements, because he's everything Austin ever did was very intentional. Intense, yes, and intentional, yes. <laughs> and the game just doesn't just doesn't seem to get that because it's probably just a guy trying to be. He's trying to try, trying to get in there and he's trying to focus and uh, invoke yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And yeah. It's just not. He just doesn't really get it. Yeah. Um. I mean... Uh, that, was a, that was a weird Austin awesome impression, uh, but you get the point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> graphic standpoint, he looks great, which yeah. I said before. But um, I, I just... I don't know, man. Like, the, the entrance... Uh, I, I think I told you before, there are select matches where I'll put the entrance on. I'm like... Because you, you want to get into it. You know, there are yeah. some matches where, like, let's let's see this play out. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm hoping that his old animation is in the game so I can just, you know, just swap, swap it, it over. Um, but if not, then we are stuck with that. I almost wish that they would let you also edit. Do they let you do advanced creation on the in-game stars or only on customs? Because I haven't actually on in-game stars as well. Yes. Okay. So, if, so if you're really anal retentive about it, you might be able to adjust Find the li- something the, close. Well, to adjust people's lighting. But that's one of the big the big complaints that oh, I've seen yeah, yeah. with people on online is the lighting's not right. The lighting is bad. On a couple of these people, yeah, the lighting seems kind of. We rough. talked about Joe where it was too bright, too bright, like too in your face. And so if you could go in and you can adjust, you can just because I know they've got a whole array of like yeah. lighting, pyros and smoke and fog and. Yeah, so if you just go from whatever the hell the default is to one that's sort of a darker purplish, yeah. not like heavy purple, yeah. but like. A little bit mellower of a light that might work better for some of these guys. Yeah, 
Um, uh, that's what I was gonna say was that it's gonna it's a little bit hard to capture these accurately when you got one generic person who's you know employed by the studio mm-hmm. to go through I'm guessing 100 some odd you know people's entrances and trying to mimic each and every one of them yeah like I know a few years ago I think it was for 2k15 where they had Cesaro come in do his own entrance do his own moves do his own stuff um, and I thought that that's that's pretty cool if you can get a superstar to just put that um, suit on and just animate literally just you know yeah. walk to walk to the ring and you you capture all that so well that's one thing that like I would almost say WWE slash 2k might want to consider but I don't know what the cost is on that to like bring them in for to bring each of each of the wrestlers in for a day yeah but I would say maybe for authenticity's sake get anybody who's still able to do their entrance specifically yeah. like I think you can get away with most of the actual wrestling being the 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 tertiary people yeah um especially the people who are old or dead um but get the people who are capable still of coming in to do their entrance cuz yeah. they know they know how their entrance goes they right. they know the movements get Austin throw the suit on Austin have Austin do the entrance down the ramp and sh- shit if you keep the like if you do that once you can probably just carry that over from game to game. Or what you could do is, you know, get a couple good takes. Go, okay, Austin, we got a good take, but let's let's try it like a little bit more, like more intensity or less intensity on this yeah. one. And then as time goes on, use other mo- um, motion caps that you have from Austin and just yeah. implement that into the game. So I mean, yeah, but it gives it a, again another authenticity. If, yeah. you, if you can get a couple of the mocap suits and you say all right we're gonna have a day we're gonna bring in 15 of the stars we're gonna have them just it's gonna be 15 minute sessions yeah they walk down we track their movements doing their own entrance and we we're good yeah and you have each wrestler do it three four times right and you're square yeah and then you've got material for this year for next year uh a, a basically a library to work with right. to make sure it's just right so I would say that's probably a practice that they should consider looking into if WWE can can work with them for it. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. At this I mean uh, it it looks to me I haven't looked deep into it but it looks like 2K throughout the years has put more emphasis on NBA than WWE and I just I don't understand why. I don't know. It's their it's their big cash cow. There's it, it it's it's got a big following too. There's yeah. a lot of streamers that play that. I saw a YouTube video one time where a girl deleted uh, her boyfriend was a like popular online 2K basketball streamer, streamer and she went in and de- and she deleted his my career as a joke. And didn't realize the like actual weight of yeah, what yeah. she was doing, and so then he came in and he found that it was gone, and he freaked out. <laughs> and like she came in and like she thought she was being all all cute, and she's yeah. like, "Oh, I deleted it." And he went, "What the? F- do you mean you deleted it, <laughs> Dad? That's, how, that's well, that wasn't a why. Oh, I, I, why sorry. would you delete my <laughs> my game? And it's yeah, that's I mean, if that's your mm, primary source of income is playing video games <laughs> which is frustrating for those of us who can't do that um jerks um <laughs> hey different lives consequently if any of you guys need a need a guest star on an episode uh, I am available if you're paying uh but I'll throw my name in the hat <laughs> as well uh but yeah no I uh I, th- I think we're square on that yeah, so, so. Uh, again, earlier today, something that we're actually on track with is finally, and we're gonna, I'm gonna get into a little bit of a rant towards the end of this episode, but finally, with twenty days before release, yes, we finally get. Um, I'm gonna put this in pr- uh, quotes. Gameplay trailer because half the stuff that we saw was still entrances, if you think about it. Um, but no, yeah, so how we're going to make this work is that we actually have the trailer pulled up here. We're actually going to go through it in slow motion. And for those of you who want to follow along, uh, if you just um, YouTube a 2K um, gameplay trailer, 
um, go to the little gear on the right now. This is how it's set up. Um, if you go to the gear on the right side of the actual player itself, there's a slow motion button. You can go to, I think, 0 0.5 speed or whatever. Yeah, there's, a just, couple, there's a couple yeah. options. But... So you can just slow motion if you want to kind of follow along with us. But, you know, uh, so we're starting right from the beginning. So go All ahead, right. Dan. So, and we'll just kind of give our comments as it goes. So, so we got Becky Lynch here, great muscle tone on her. Uh, Undertaker who's posing in front of a skull-like skull arena. Thing. Um Roman Reigns walk into the ring. Oh, oh, oh. And then Let. you got uh the fiend and letting his presence be known, which I like cuz it seems like Bray Wyatt literally is taking over everything. Looks like they didn't quite get Roman's nose right. And yeah. the, the the mustache or his beard looks like it's just like plastered on. But like look at look at her quads. Be Becky's on Becky, the screen. Becky Becky's on the screen, yeah. But like the muscle definition on it is great. Yeah. There's also we'll get into this later, but there's a zoom in shot of her um her stockings. Um and it actually looks like it's animated. It doesn't look like it's plastered on, like you can literally see, you know, the little um the you know, the threads and the and the little holes and all that. Uh, see, yeah, like, that. this shot, like, you can see, like, it looks like it's actually, like, it, she's wearing it as opposed to just being glued on and being yeah. one-dimensional. Fiend mask, uh, te creepy as always. Yeah. Uh, he looks pretty good. The hair, the hair texture seems to be a little bit meh, mm -hmm. but the mask itself looks great. Charlotte Flair doing her, uh, entrance, which, by the way, I'm hoping that if you change her to a different robe, she'll actually take it off and not have it glued onto her. Something they gotta fix, like pronto. And then we got Sasha. Sasha, Sasha Banks. Sasha doing her, her little hip move. Again, great muscle definition on Sasha. Bailey, you can't Bailey. Re really tell because she wears yeah. all the clothing. And tassels. There better be the wacky waving arm inflatable tube men in this, though. No, there was. There was. Was there? I didn't yeah. see him. Um. Now we got the back Becky. shot of Becky, which I'm assuming this doesn't look like it's actually going to be part of her entrance. But I do like the the her yeah, attire she, here from the. Um, yeah, they better have all the attires for the for the these four specifically. Oh, they will. They will. I've talked about duplicates. I feel like we're going to get a plenty of duplicates for four horsewomen. Love the attire for her WrestleMania yeah. and thing. Like, look at the lighting. Not yeah. to draw, not to draw attention to her ass, but look at the lighting on that. Uh, then you go back to um, old school NXT attires for yeah. Sasha and uh, Bailey. Didn't Sasha's arm ties come undone in that match? <laughs> like I think her. Did they? I think so. I think her arm her arm straps got. Oh damn! Look up away! Look away! Oh, is that Oscar? Yeah. Uh, come on! No, it's going. It's going. Is it going? Yeah, it's oh. going. Um, the Hell in a Cell match, pretty cool. Nice animation there with them standing there in the ring as yeah. it comes down. Cell looks good. Oh, 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 Superman punch in slow motion to Eric Rowan. It's like they predicted the future. <laughs> but or, you, but no, you'll, it's not Superman punch, it's his flying clothes. Yeah. Line. Never mind. <laughs> you'll notice that uh, Rowan doesn't really have any logos on his shirt, which is understandable because of copyright. He was wearing shirts for various rock bands, so... yeah. You can probably just really look it up on Community Creation and just plaster it on him. Yeah. Oh, there's again, the Fiend the again. Fiend. Actually, He's got the braid. The, yeah, lantern, exactly. Which he do didn't have in the recent um, live events. Oh, well, did they like pull back there, from there, it? There was a... The, I saw a fan video of him, I think, um, coming out at one of the live events. He just had the regular lantern. Oh, okay. So they might they might have gotten rid of it. I know because, because of, of the rating on this game, they're probably trying to like tune that down a little bit. Because if you got a, um, uh, a oh, they've got it in here, so he's he's probably gonna yeah. have the Bray, the Bray Lantern. But I hope when when you break through tables, they don't disappear after you break through them, because that just takes the realism away from it. We've gone off topic a little bit uh, outside of the t the table thing. Be Be Exploder through the table, table break looked okay. Becky with uh, Becky two belts. WrestleMania Arena looking pretty accurate. Brock Lesnar. Throat cleanse. Looking a little a little lean compared to what he actually looks Again, like. Again, the light bouncing off of Seth's a little vest. Adam Adam Cole's features are a little meh. Bebe. 
Uh, like, like the, the face. The, the rock on. actually looks pretty cool here. I'm not gonna lie. Like the shirt and you know. Yeah, for for that for for the time frame yeah, that this, this yeah. model is from. Same thing with Sting. Sting looks like just copy and paste from last year. If we're being honest, please don't have five different versions. I, but I, I no, I mean I think he looks good. Like with the the lighting, the angles. I think the face sculpt yeah. is pretty good. I can't really tell about Goldberg because he's a little blurry, but he looks like he might be a little. Sparks bit are off. flying. So. EO. EO. There with, you go. With her moon salt. I'm like really eager to get her and uh, give her her heel attire. Yeah. That's going to be Kyrie. fun. Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie with her, her weird but adorable little uh, pirate wheel. Velveteen Dream looking Velveteen. really good. Did you see the light, the lighting off of the, 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 yeah. the glasses? Who the hell was China that? China. That was, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I KO's entrance, very... Eh. Um, I was hoping they would reanimate the spear. I mean, it's been like seven years or six years. Give us a new one, really. And then here we go. The little so skull arena. So the, the arena in hell. Uh, there's a big skull, lava pits, uh, lava bursts. It looks like uh, we got... Um, demon. Demon. Finn Balor. Yeah, Demon Balor. Not Demon King with the normal makeup, but he's got sort of like a Darth Maul uh, spike crown going on. Yeah. Um, he looks interesting. He's going to be one of the originals. Uh, Nia Jax in here, looking like she just broke her elbow. Uh, but facial expressions looking actually a bit better. Yeah. I like this. this I don't know if it's the, the Wyatt compound. It looks like the compound. Or, this, or what are they called? The Swamp? S yeah. Swamp something? Yeah, whatever it is. But I like the, f the, the fog, fog on yep. it is, is yeah. beautiful. This looks like the Undertaker coming out of a The crypt. skull. Yeah, the, but, I think this is the, the skull. Uh, I'm, ca I'm calling it the skull arena. That's not what it's officially called. I'm just... Skull reminds me of the SmackDown Fist, by the way, where it's just like, yeah, you know, a little bit. center. I hope that's back in here. That'd be a fun little arena for them to add in. Chokes onto the table. I can't... I think that's maybe a new animation. Probably. Uh, Charlotte chopping uh, <laughs> Bailey. Across with... the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, they got different hair designs, so that's... I hope they, they put that in there where you can alter hair and facial hair. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. And we're, there we go. And this was interesting. We got, like, a... Yeah, that, you're right. There's, like, wings on it. Yeah. There's, there's a weird snow. little, like, Fairy Princess Disney-esque uh, arena in here that... Oh, and did we double back? Oh, he... No, the... I gotcha. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's swans. It's yeah. two ice swans with an ice palace Making behind. a heart. Uh, which I'm guessing is like an Alexa Bliss Disney inspired, might be a 2K Towers, it might be a part of the bump in the night, I'm not really sure, but there's actually snow, um, and if you actually see like there's snow actually coming. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it'll be one of the other originals packs, because bump in the night is all the horror themed right. stuff, there'll probably be like a fantasy thing where you might even see like a, yeah. a Tinkerbell Alexa. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. Um, and other other mystical mystical creature people yeah here's alistair, alistair black uh, i forget what his like, yeah, forgot, subtitle is yeah. but he it looks like he's like go, like floating yeah he's levitating and then you got him versus finn at the skull arena which like the the constant bursting of the lava is pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool i think that's some like spinal stuff nikki cross nikki is finally cross. back in the game uh we didn't get her last year, I guess, because of contract issues, but Undertaker yeah, I, and Kane. I don't think this is the same place, so I'm curious where that is, because it almost looks like a, a boiler room that's on fire, and then you've got this creepy... dolls, which... Uh, this is probably at the Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt, Wyatt yeah. But it's like a, do a doll wreath. Yeah. <laughs> Stapled Tommaso, to a wall. Yeah, Tommaso Ciampa's back in the game, so that's a plus. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Storm. Tony Storm is in here. A lot of good additions. And I'm actually glad we're not getting, like, an NXT, like, DLC pack. It's good to know that they're all here. Now, this, I wonder where this is. Yeah, because that's Because a... this is a... There's a archway with, like, a saint, and it's zombified Sasha. Hogan's back in the game! But as for that one, I'm curious if that's part of a story. Because yeah. the angle that that camera shot was from didn't really have the same feel the same as, like, feel an as OMG the... moment yeah. or a normal wrestling right. thing. Right. Power bomb from who is this? Roman to Drew, Drew McIntyre, yeah. Onto a car with the windshield shattering. The shatter looked pretty good right yeah. there. Yeah. Back to Becky. Angry Lynch. face Becky. You see, like with with the with the beard, it just looks like it's like just yeah. plastered on. Shinsuke guy's got his new um, bodysuit attire. Jerry yeah, Lawler's Lawler. in the game. I was actually very good interesting. Face, good face model. On yeah. That one. 
Hogan leg yes. drop. Dropping. New animated leg drop dropping. on Ted DiBiase. Is that who that is? Yeah. Yeah. That's this. Hair. I was actually shocked. X Pac is actually back in the game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm never gonna use him, uh, but he's there. I will. I hope that we get the white Seth attire and the Night King attire. I would like to see both of those in here. And we see Demon, actual, actual Demon, Demon King. King, Finn Balor, a few posing from uh, Becky Lynch and Roman, back to the Fiend. And I think, I think that's, that's a, it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And so that that brings it brings it home. So lot of lot of stuff in there. Do yeah. we want to talk about some of it specifically? Sure. Um, I will. I I literally mentioned it before we started. Um, not really much of a gameplay trailer when like two thirds of it is entrances still. Yeah. Um, but uh, as for I think the 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 main attraction within the the trailer itself was all the was um, again I'm calling it the Skull Arena yeah. or the the Alexa Bliss Disney inspired arena. I think that you know, because if you notice, they would they would um, go into that. Then we would go back to like regular entrances and superstars. Then we would go back to that, and we would come back to regular. So it looks like there's like this um, shift. So you know, with that whole thing of like dipping into the little fantasy arenas, and then you know, going back to um, the real stuff. But yeah, just as a whole, I don't know. What did you think of the trailer? Anything in particular stand out to you? Um. So nothing nothing really interested me explicitly like that that was like oh look at that yeah that was normal i suppose um the things that are most intriguing for me because i'm i'm curious about the execution of them is all of those um ori- all of the originals content that we saw kind of sneak in there and then eh, i'm i'm interested in the 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 Four Horsewomen story thing. Um, like we talked about in that when we went over that, um, about half the matches I don't really, yeah. I don't really need to play through, but it it'll still be fun to to be a part of the the ones that we discussed, right, the Hell yeah. in the Cell matches, the Extreme Rules, the all of those. But no, the big things that stand out to me are the things like the Alistair Black, the zombie, zombie Sasha we didn't know about. Yeah, because it she, said a two alternate or hidden characters, and I'm guessing Sasha I, was one. Well, I don't know, because Survivor Mandy Rose, like, that's the thing. Survivor, Survivor Mandy Rose wasn't mentioned in the character list, yeah. only in the, the towers. Yeah. So I assumed she was one, and I thought... I don't remember if the Nikki Cross was mentioned in the actual characters or yeah. just in the towers also. Um, so I assumed it was those two. But maybe, maybe it's Zombie Sasha, or maybe you can zombify anybody. Which I, we were talking about that. I think that would be a very neat feature for this year, is like yeah. create like a demon or like a zombie or like a horror version of a, of a superstar. Yeah. Give every give us all the the freedom to modify people and just make make existing characters our own. Yeah, because then we'll actually feel this replayability within the creation suite. Because then you go, oh, okay, well I already made Sasha look like this, but now I can make her a robot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So the, there's a lot of fun that could be had in that if they decide to go that route. Yeah, but and I'm guessing that all those uh, fictitious arenas are probably unlockable. Yeah. So if they are, that would be a neat thing where it's like, you know, put in like a um, zombie version of The Rock or a Mankind and let yeah. them go into that arena and, you know, kind of have your own little showdown in an arena like that. So Yeah. And then obviously we talked about the the little um, snow castle. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably going to be announced as part of one of the other packs. And so then that makes me curious what the other characters are going to be because it's probably going to be like fantastical stuff. Yeah. You might have like... Uh, I don't know, Orc, Braun Strowman, or I feel like there would be a lot of, but like Frank and Braun, was he mentioned? Was he was he mentioned in the bump in the night? He was mentioned. Yep. Okay. So I don't know if they'll beat those superstars to death by being like <laughs> Braun Strowman in this one and this one and, and that one, one. Uh, but like yeah, that's what you could do is uh, Orcs. <laughs> Dude, if you gave me a Wizard Roman Reigns, that'd be pretty funny. 
or Pixie Fairy Alexa Bliss, like like I said. Inevitably, they would have like a Princess Alexa or a Fairy Ale- Alexa yeah. or something along the lines of that. They probably they would probably do like a little Fairy Fairy Pixie Alexa, and then they'd probably do like Staten Staten Island Princess Carmella, and she'll have like a long flowy <laughs> gown. Um, I'm 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 here for those. Like, if that's the sort of shit that we see in all of these packs, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, because that's so much. That's so silly, and I love it. But again, I would not be a fan if it's just oh, alternate costumes yeah. or alternate appearance. Like, give us something. Like I mentioned this, I I think it was two years ago where Papa Shango had this thing because you know he's you know a, a voodoo uh, guy where you would do a taunt and all of a sudden your opponent wouldn't be able to reverse for 15 seconds. Yeah. So that like was like special, a su- special yeah, powers. exactly. So it's like if we can take that and just really go in that direction for all of like these specific, you yeah. know, um, alternate characters, that would be pretty cool. I'm not saying that it be Mortal Kombat where every, where you're bashing somebody's brains and then you know there's blood spewing all over the place, yeah. but you can go in that direction and have fun with it. Don't just let it be oh, it's Alexa Bliss just in a different attire. Yeah, just with wings. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, um, I mean, it, it, again, I think we, now this will allow me to transition into it, but I, I, I guess I need to get your opinion on this. What have you, what do you personally think about their marketing campaign or their advertising or their promoting this year? Because to me, it was, it is simply uncalled for if you are 20 days away from release and you are just revealing a gameplay trailer and keep in mind, to this point, we don't even have a roster reveal. Yeah. And they're asking us, pre-order and play as the Fiend. It's like, okay, you're going to grab that's certain what, that's people. That's what you're steering into. <laughs> yeah. You can grab certain people with that, but it's like, why pay the 60 70 80 bucks when I don't even know who's going to be in the game or what your main features are, yeah. you know? So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just, um, it's it's honestly just unacceptable. Like. I I would have rather preferred if they came out with a video, like an official video on the 2K YouTube channel and gone, hey guys, yes, we're lacking it on the information, but just trust us, we're putting the work in, we're going to try to make this the most fun game, just please be patient with the information and we'll have something for you guys very soon. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Or I, th- I, like, I think that they should have had a set day every week where they released 10 people. I was people. I was even thinking about that. If you notice, like, the entrances that they revealed really had no structure, and yeah. they just sort of stopped after Austin. And... <laughs> Here, have, have some entrances. Yeah. Um, so, like, again, like, I talked about it before. Before it was, like, you know, once every day, a superstar's entrance along with their signature finisher. This year it was more like, oh, this week, nah, pick a name out of the hat. Yeah. Joe's entrance. Yeah, you can release that one out to the public, and it's like... <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, and I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of other names that are most likely going to be in the game, but are really just kind of speculative. But like, we saw X Pac in the thing. We saw Jerry e- EO. We saw Jerry. Shayna Baszler's probably going to be in there. Yeah. Uh, Adam Cole wasn't on the list. I just read any of Undisputed Era, most of NXT. Yeah. Uh, any of NXT UK. But there's going to, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of people in this game because last year's roster even with the duplicates was still like around 200 people yeah. and I probably read what 30 just now roughly yeah so there's going to be a, a lot more people than that yeah but I mean one of your selling points if you're really trying to get those pre-orders in is, is to tell is people who there. you can yeah because if your favorite superstar is not in the game you might skip the game yeah so may, I mean and that's shystery maybe that's their thing is well we've announced a bunch of the big name people <laughs> Maybe let's not announce everybody else so that people go do the pre-orders right. beforehand and then they'll find out that Rhea Ripley isn't in the game and they're like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Who am I going to play as now? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I, that's one of the things too is like we were trying to do this episode and that was one of my main talking points, which is how unacceptable the advertising has been this year. Um yeah, I don't know. It's just it's frustrating. I'm glad that we had this reveal trailer. Um, again, not to. It's like they 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 throw me a bone. I'm not trying to complain, but half of the clips were just entrances again. So yeah. it's like okay, yeah, but it's entrances. So it'd be nice if they release something else still. Like you got you got two a, two two and a half weeks before it's too late. 
I wouldn't mind if you throw like a 15 second spot of like the creation suite, just yeah. like boom, 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 you know, and then yeah. you can have people slowly go back, look at it and see like all the little Easter eggs and all the little trinkets that hide in those clips. But. Shit, I know they're keeping it close to close to the chest, but if, even if you just, if you reveal the DLC packs, yeah, like that at least gives something that, tangible to base a purchase off yeah. of. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then we've got fantasy, and we got this, and we got that. Okay. At least I know that there's going to be four cool packs that yeah. I can get with it, and then there's probably going to be the main stars. All right. Uh, but if you only if you only know who's in the videos you've seen so far, it, it's a little disappointing because then yeah. you're sitting there going, "But who's not in the game?" Yeah. Because if because if those were the only like I bought this game and I put it into my PS4. And I load it up, and I see that those 30 people are the only people in the game. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you go from uh, 200 uh, playable wrestlers you guys to get 30. Th 38 wrestlers. <laughs> Two of them being but, duplicates. But that's less than the original SmackDown game. You'll deal with it. <laughs> um, um, and I mean, again, like it's not just a roster, but it's uh, yeah. key features. We yeah. really don't know what's new, yeah, what's sticking around. Yeah, you what's... don't really know how this new uni universe mode is working. You mentioned different controls. There should be a, there should be a, a preview video highlighting that. Yeah, I would love to see that. That's a pretty big change. Yeah, because that's you know the core of the game. That's how you play play the game. Dun 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 dun. dun. Hey, get it? Because it's Triple H. Uh, and it's time to play the game. Yeah. But, like, 2K20 is a game. It is. That's true. I was there. <laughs> How are you there when it's not even out? I mean, I, I know a guy. I don't know a guy. That was oh. a lie. That was a lie. I got you guys. <laughs> um... <sighs> Yeah, so I mean, eh, I'm getting 2K20. I'm getting it on Black Friday when it's half off. Um, yeah, like uh, honestly, I I can't imagine paying the what are they charging the 100 some odd dollars for the SmackDown 20th yeah, anniversary like 100, collectors. Like 130. Yeah, I'm gonna do deluxe. Because you get all the DLC. That's the only only thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna jump to the eighty nine ninety nine or seventy nine ninety nine whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll be getting the deluxe edition on this one, but yeah. Uh, so until next time, don't forget save your game and do not turn off the console. <laughs>